All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to kick off another career mode here within Supercross the game number three. I didn't want to do the full 17 rounds for what I have planned, so I went ahead and I used a random number generator to actually choose between 1 and 17 to choose the tracks that we're going to be attacking. So for this career, we're going to be taking on Anaheim 1, San Diego, Daytona, Anaheim 2, Indianapolis, East Rutherford, and then of course, Anaheim 1986 to end it off I felt like that was that was fitting for what we're about to do now I know I've asked you guys what you guys want to see for this championship for my next career mode but I had to switch it up a lot of you guys wanted to see MXGP riders take on Supercross and that's a fantastic idea it's definitely gonna happen but with the Legends DLC that just got released we actually got access to Ricky Johnson and his two-stroke as you guys know so that's what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing the two-stroke head start championship i'm gonna start off here today giving these guys a five second head start and then each time i win we will bump that up by another five seconds of course we will do the crash penalty so if i do go down we have to wait five seconds next time we cross the pit lane and other than that these are the race options we are going to be on semi pro so that we can hop in and do some qualifying actually you know what should we do the real thing on the two stroke should we actually do the real thing do heat races and everything i think that might be fun should we do it i think it, i think it would be worth it of course realistic difficulty medium race length physics on advanced and you guys can take a look at the rest of the settings there and with all of that being said guys we are going to load in to anaheim one for episode one of this series if you guys do enjoy smash that thumbs up button for me let me know your thoughts down below question of the video do you guys think the two stroke can compete is the two stroke gonna be able to hold up to the 450 riders let me know in the comments below subscribe to the channel if you are new around here guys and today is actually the last day to enter in to the 15,000 subscriber giveaway the link is down below get your entries in and i will be choosing a winner later on tonight or winners i guess because there's like eight prizes so i will be choosing winners later on tonight of course a longer intro here for the first episode it always is you got to set the stage for the future of the career so let's get in to anaheim one Alright, so here we go guys, of course, on that 250 two-stroke. Now, I did throw the controller overlay up on screen. I am kind of worried about it being a little delayed and not synced up perfectly with the gameplay. At the same time, you guys have, well, will notice that I've switched it from... Okay, that's how this is gonna go. I'm just gonna crash the whole time. But if you guys have been around the channel for a little bit, you have probably noticed that I was using a different controller for the controller overlay. I've switched it over to the white PlayStation controller, or what they call the white PlayStation controller, and I'm hoping that gives a little more contrast for the joysticks. That way you guys can actually see what I am doing with my thumbs while I'm attacking these tracks, because the other overlay, it was just hard to see the actual thumbsticks and what they were doing. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind that I switched that up, but I think even though, I mean, I'm playing with, oh, holy, <laughs> I'm playing with an Xbox One controller. It doesn't really make a difference. They have all of the same buttons and everything. So I just thought that PlayStation overlay was a little more better for the eyes than the Xbox One. Wow, I am, I am gooning it up here in qualifying. There we go. Finally getting a triple in that section. I need to hit a decent lap. We're not even in qualifying position right now back in 28th holy i'm feeling it right here right now up and over the finish line this is about to be a hot lap top step of the qualifying leaderboard i can just feel it all right get through this section clean with no major mistakes all right not going down in that corner like i did on lap one up and over the supercross triple and let's see if i come out a little wider get on the gas a little easier there we go and i should have probably just stayed in second gear and i would have gotten the drive for that triple triple but that was still a pretty quick line scrub that double you do not need a ton of speed for that double by any means try and get into this flow should i still oh i shouldn't have went 
I shouldn't have went for the quad, but it still worked, man. So sketchy, yet it still worked. I only tripled, but I went off track and managed to keep the lap, lap time alive. As of right now, I'm chilling in 11th for qualifying. Hug this inside here, and that jumps us up to P2 behind Marv. I think I can clean that up even more. I just got a shred. So I don't think I've ever actually done a heat race here on the channel. I rarely ever do the heat races just because I'm not even sure. I don't even really have a reason, but we got to get top nine to avoid that LCQ and move on to that main event. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and give these guys a five second head start. I think that'll be the standard for these heat races because they are short. They're not super long. We don't have a lot of time to catch up. So I think a little five second head start give these guys a little bit of an advantage and then it actually challenges me here in these heat races to get up into that top nine into a transfer spot and qualify directly to that main event so uh, yeah let's go already up to the back of the field into the mix see if I can get into that lead and absolutely check out okay uh, big pile up there well I guess not a pile up but Big traffic jam <laughs> with Reed and the boys. Kevin Tapia, the man stole my number. I should take him out. I should just send him to the ground, end his Supercross career, and then Supercross 4, I'll be able to use <laughs> 211. <laughs> Someone put a hit out on, oh my goodness, Tevin Tapia, like Joe Exotic did on Carol, so that I can <laughs> go ahead and use his number, all right? I'm joking. I ain't trying to end up in jail, okay? Alright, so I don't think I really have to worry too, too much. I'm already up to P4 here on lap 2, which was, I mean, a piece of cake. I didn't even have to really, like, hit any good lines or anything. I've just been, I've just been cruising. So it would be nice to clean up that triple-triple line for that main event, just so that I have a true advantage over these guys. But for the most part, wow, I, I, I got no words for that, man. Marv is aggressive. Uh, no one's messing with Marv today, I guess. Holy. All right, Marv. Okay, I was going to say you want to be aggressive. I'll be aggressive back. But uh, he went down all on his own. All right, Karma. Karma got Marv. And I didn't even have to. All right, Karma got him for me. Man, that triple in. Especially on this 250. You just got to be so smooth on the throttle. Can't lose any traction. You got to find that balance between... Getting on the gas hard so you get the drive to make it and uh, not getting on the gas too hard so that you don't actually lose traction and lose your drive. Now, I could quad right there, and I'm not really sure why I didn't, but we're catching Mookie. We'll be into that lead, and I should be able to get a dubs and have first gate pick. Not that it matters, but first gate pick for that main event. Two laps to go. And with that being said, that should be the pass for the lead right there. Just like that, past Mookie. Into P1. Bust out this quad for you guys. Quad to here. A little sketchy, but it works. And then you can quad right into that corner. And the flow is unreal. With all that being said, this heat race is in the bag. I'm coming across the finish line. And, of course... P1. Position 1, let's go, man. That's exactly what I wanted to do. My lap time is like 4 seconds quicker than these guys. Are you serious, man? I was flying. I guess we only had half of the top dogs. A lot of the other guys would be in heat race number 2, but uh, wow. I, I was on another level against these guys. Maybe we had the easy heat, because the only like true big dog I see in here is actually Marv. I mean, we got like Stuart, we got Reed, we got Plessinger, but uh, yeah, Marv is probably the only like top dog I should be worried about. And uh, we, we booty clapped him. He's way back there. The man Ricky Johnson moving right on into that main event. I guess we'll get to see, does it even show us who stacks up for the main event it doesn't even show us the heat two results does it or the results from the lcq nope it's just like all right here is the main event no idea who we're going against no idea who didn't make it but uh i'm assuming all the top guys made it in to this race so here we go guys send me all the luck send me all the support smash that thumbs up button if you haven't already because i'm gonna need 
all the luck that I can get. Now, I was going to do a five second head start and then increase it every time I win by five seconds, but I think we're going to do 10 seconds. Should I do 15? Let's just do 15. Yeah, let's just do 15. You know what? Five seconds was too easy for that heat race. 10 seconds. I mean, we got double the time here in this main event, so might as well make it a challenge. I was like four seconds a lap quicker than P2 in my heat race. Obviously, I didn't qualify that good, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I found some lines and we are getting dialed in on this 252 stroke. So changing it up from what I said at the start of the episode and giving these guys a huge advantage. I don't want to start off the championship too easy. Like if I did five seconds, I would probably win guaranteed. And I want to try to make the championship interesting, entertaining, and I don't care if I uh, come out the champion or not at the end of the seven rounds. I just want to have fun. So that is the plan. 15 second head start and the comeback is on guys. I just got to hit clean lines. I say it in every episode, clean lines, clean laps, maybe try and bust out that quad. If I can hit that consistently, that would definitely be an advantage. But here we go, lap one coming to an end. Let's attack the track. That triple triple line through there is so quick. It gained me so much time on these guys. Catching up to the back of the field here on lap two. Marv is the first person it looks like I might actually be able to pass. Oh, and I missed, I even missed the triple there. Can I still <laughs> bust out that quad? Let's go. All right, past Marv, past Langston. We got a battle on our hands at this point. We are in the mix with Tomac, Brayton, Gardner. A lot of the top guys are actually near the back. Like we got Tomac, Marv is back there in like last place. Langston, who obviously is one of the new Legends riders back at the back of the field. So that makes me wonder, you know, who's up? Who's up near the front? I guess like Webb, Webb could be up there, but as of right now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who's leading. <laughs> Cause it definitely ain't Tomac, it ain't Marv, and it ain't me, that's for sure. I'm back here in 16. And I hit this line so good last lap, and then this lap, of course, just struggling. Coming up on the man, Timmy Ferry. Blake Baggett on my inside here. I probably should have tried to just triple onto that table since I did go to the outside and I missed the inside line, but wow, these guys are blocking the whole entire track, man. <laughs> Get out of the way, let me through. But I guess it's racing. They ain't pulling over just to let me go. Am I right? They ain't doing that, not a chance. Barry going down in the whoops. He absolutely ate it. And now, I, now my sights are set on Jason Anderson. I gotta clean up this triple line, man. The goon moments taken over in that corner. Just not hitting the gas hard enough and uh, not making that line clean. But I don't think it's really costing me much time. That is definitely costing me time, especially with the five second penalty coming into play. Okay, let's get through this rhythm without going down and when I get up to the pit row pit lane I gotta stop for five seconds that is a huge setback at this point okay coming up to pit lane pull over and when that timer hits 5 20 21 I guess we will go am I in last place I am chilling in last now five minutes to make this comeback happen oh no Oh no. All right, so four minutes left on the clock. I'm up past Timmy Ferry, all right? I'm into P21 right now. I have my work cut out for me if I wanna get up and get a decent finish. I'm gonna try for a top 10. I don't know if that is possible at this point because we're only gonna have like four, four laps left. So I think it is gonna take a decent amount of work and dedication to try and get up and get a decent finish. That crash penalty coming into play, coming into effect and costing me a ton of time. I was up battling for that top 10. And now here we are battling for just one point right now. Like this is crazy. 
at least one good thing that I have that I have going for me is the fact that like Marv, Tomac, a lot of the big names are near the back of the pack, so it's not just a bad night for me. A lot of these guys seem to be struggling here at Anaheim 1 as well. But if I can start clicking through these guys pretty quick, I think I should be able to... Oh my goodness, Langston. Stay in your lane, my guys. Stay in your lane. <laughs> Holy. Obviously, the win. I think the win is out of the picture, out of the question at this point. And I just need to focus on redemption. Being in salvage mode and just try to uh, hold on to whatever position I can hold on to. Even right now, 15. I would be happy with that considering I was like whoa, way back there two laps ago. So two minutes on the clock now. Two minutes remaining and I got some work to do. As I set my sights on Hill and Barsha, I wonder if I can get this triple. Oh man, sketchy. But I will take it if I can catch up to these guys, get Hill behind me. Oh, flowing through this section terribly. I will scrub that double. Scrub it up, dub this double. And I need to try and actually... Oh, Hill coming in hot. I wanted... What just happened? Chaos and Carnage. I wanted to get the quad line through here, but... Hill came in hot. Nudged me a little wide, and I had to go to that outside line. But it worked. Up to 11th place right now. A minute on the clock, so we may get lucky and actually get this lap in two more. If not, next lap will be last lap, but I think we should have this lap in two more to make some passes happen. Reedy, the man, what is up, my guy? He will be the pass for, I think seventh, if I'm not wrong. Anderson will be the pass for sixth. Millsaps is running P5, all right? Four riders, to pass after Millsaps. Five riders total remaining. We got Millsaps, we got Stewart. I actually can't see who's up there. It looks like Webb. Is that Webb? Osborne? And Baggett? Is Baggett out front? I could be completely wrong, but I think that is the running order at this point. Okay, two laps left. Chaos has went down. And I am closing in on a podium right now. If I can get Millsaps behind me just like that. We got Webb, Osborne, and I believe it is Baggett. Let's go, man. This might happen. It's gonna come down to the wire, but never giving up until it's over, all right? That is the motto, and that's the whole theme of racing. It's not over until that checkered flag flies. Oh, we're in the mix. Osborne, Webb going to that outside. See if I can get into a decent line through here. It's Bogle out front. Not even bag it. It's Bogle. Just like that, I pass for the lead. I feel like that was almost too easy. That was almost way too easy. I have a whole lap to just walk with it at this point. Let's go. So, of course, it is... The final lap here just got to be smooth sailing all the way to the finish line and I should be good to get this W now. Here's the thing, man. I started 15 seconds down, even got hit by that crash penalty and still managed... Oh my goodness, unless this rhythm costs, costs me the moto, but still managed to catch back up and get into that lead. At the halfway point, after I went down, I was like, man, this race is over. Starting off this career with a terrible finish, but somehow I managed to uh, pull it back together. I don't think I hit this quad quad line once in the race, which is surprising. Definitely would have been an advantage, but uh, I didn't even need it. All right, I didn't even need it, because here we go. Anaheim won in the bag, taking that victory bittersweet man doesn't victory taste good tastes amazing the best thing best thing out there so this time around of course cooper webb had that 102 lap time finishing up in p2 bogle got bodied back to third i kind of feel bad the man had that w the whole entire race and i came in and dropped him back to third so my lap time a minute flat well one minute point eight 
eight hundredths of a second, man. There we go. 11 laps for that race. And of course, I'm going to be leading the points with 26 points. In the next race, we will do a 20 second head start challenge. And that's where I stalled out in the 450 class. So it's going to be spicy. It's going to be wild. It's going to get interesting from here on. Out. I'm gonna have to see if I can hold on to that red plate, but that is it. That is all for this video I will catch you guys all in San Diego. Peace out